this fridge, honestly. At this point in time, I could care less. Do this, bruh. Gotta go. <coughs> hey, 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 we're in the house. And if you know anybody that would actually enjoy our. And if you know anybody that would actually. I can't even do the passing catch. <laughs> Right now, I know everybody is. I know all the housemates are here for me and Dumi's content, and everybody is in Dumi's corner. And <laughs> woo, woo, I'm in the house. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you're, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm not relaxed. Maybe it's because I'm not eating or drinking anything. But anyway, whatever. Guys, welcome to the house. If it's your first time in the house, please do best and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and select the all options so you do not get, so you do not miss a notification every time we post. If you're a returning housemate. Welcome back to the house! Yes. Welcome to the very first edition of Sunday's Corner. Right, guys, I know you're all here for like me and Dumi's content and us being together, being us, being weirdos and stuff. So, um, with Sunday's Corner, I'm going to try and do content that actually is still within that. And if you'd like to see more educational content, like this is not what Sunday's Corner is about. Like, I'm so, when the new planes arrive at work, I'm going to take you guys on, I'm going to take you guys with, take you inside the aircraft and hopefully on the first commercial flight i'll try to get on it and shoot a video as well that's what sunday's corner is about it's just about showing you guys the things that i like and hopefully enjoy them as well but let me get into the video i'll try to keep it within eight to ten minutes five points now number one should i buy a camera guys with regards to a camera um you know there's no point in buying a camera if you don't know what a camera does and remember this is my opinion i'm not an expert in my opinion the cameras that are worth buying for for vlogging are just above 8k so if you don't have that much of a budget grab a smartphone because a smartphone you can do much more than a camera you can get youtube studio on your phone and manage your channel you can manage your social media as well and do a whole lot of stuff with your phone so if you don't have the budget get a cell because phone. most smartphones like for example my cell phone a galaxy s10 has 4k resolution has 60 frame per, and you can shoot at 60 frames per second if you want to be slowing down stuff and if you're going to be doing stuff outdoor it's got 128 gigabyte storage as well so just get a smartphone or awesome. one of those um mid mid to top end smartphones which have the proper camera because more what you need is a camera that at least has at least has 1080p at 30 frames per second that's what you need and a camera that has a good aperture that lets in enough light so that if you don't have good lighting which i'm about to get into can take in enough light and have settings that can mess with the light so you can get like a video that's like almost as good as this we personally bought a camera before we started but that's because we made a conscious decision and said you know what we use our phones for a lot of other stuff and most of the time my phone doesn't have space so like we're going to save and get a camera and we got a canon eos m6 so if you are going to go and buy a camera the camera i would suggest you buy is a is a canon eos m50 it's just the one it's new, relatively new, came out just after an EOS M6 and they fixed all the bugs that an M6 had. Point number two, shooting equipment. Now this has to do with like my, tri my tripods, lighting, all the fancy other things that come with the lighting and microphones and all of those things. Now 
guys really the nice thing about youtube is that youtube is not like a a huge production where now you're going to have to have a budget for a red camera for locations and whatnot and it's going to be going to a cinema or whatever with that said i'm not saying don't take care of the quality look we had an led when we started we bought an led lamp but recently as you've seen in our recent videos i broke the lamp and i'm using right now we're using a lamp a lamp with an led bulb i'll take a picture of it and put it right over there and that's something that we've had sitting around for so long and we only started using it because the led lamp broke with shooting equipment basically all you need is a tripod so if you're going to be using a cell phone go and get a tripod and you can use a study lamp and go and buy an led lamp a cool white led bulb and fit it into your lamp like this bulb the one that we're using is like 15 bucks at shop right and it does it's doing the things you can see with the with the video which is a pity i'm not shooting at night at night we also still have bomb lighting and we've been using this for the past few videos so don't go and break the bank looking for an led light literally if you have a study lamp go and get a, a cool white led bulb put that bulb inside and then position your light properly what's that and i'll also take a picture of the whole setup of how we're, of how i'm shooting right now so you can see that it's not like a huge it's not like a huge ship bank and we didn't spend a lot of money other equipment that you should consider buying if you're going to be vlogging it's a it's a mini tripod for when you're vlogging because Dumi has always complained a camera is heavy she can't always be holding the camera like this when you're vlogging or holding the camera like that so get a mini tripod just shout out to Pam and Fan because they're the ones that hooked us up with who plugged us with that and we went to macro and got it so number three things to take care of this is when now you've got your equipment you know the content that you're going to be shooting things to take care of quality of your videos like i emphasized like i emphasized at the beginning of the video if you're going to be getting a camera to shoot for youtube the minimum minimum that you need is a camera that has the ability to shoot in full hd that's at 1080 pixels and at at least 30 frames per second especially if you're going to be doing vlogs and you want to do some cool editing and slow footage down and stuff like that at least bare minimum 30 frames per second and the things that i did mention the the mid to high end phones they have all of that so really that's what you need to consider remember frames per second is just how quick the camera shutters when it takes a video and um the 1080p is the quality it's the pixel so it's full hd if you can if you get most phones now have 4k our camera that i'm shooting with doesn't even have 4k the eos m6 does not have 4k but our videos still look bomb when you put them on the tv and stuff something else that's really important guys is thumbnails and this is still part of the quality of the video like when you're uploading your video thumbnails are very important try to be consistent with the thumbnails obviously the first few videos that you are going to upload are not going to have the same layout and the same type of thumbnails but thumbnails are very important if you have a specific template that you use for your videos be consistent with it because automatically when people see that type of thumbnail they're going to know oh it's the Gwenya's house it's the Gwenya's house video you'll see with our thumbnails at the beginning when consistent because I was trying a, a lot of a few things with it and I finally got something that like got something that worked for us now you may ask how can you make thumbnails I personally use Photoshop but that's because I've had experience with Photoshop before before we went on to YouTube but there is a lot of tools for example canva canva is a free online tool that you can just go to canva.com you make a you make a profile and you can edit pictures with canva canva is really cool because you can also edit instagram stories facebook pictures all the banners and all of those things for your channel and for your social media canva is a really great social media tool so if you do not know how to use photoshop or aren't interested in taking time to learn how to use photoshop i would suggest that you use canva to make your thumbnails and once you found a template that works for you use that template every single time choose your colors which you're going to use and choose your font that you're going to use and once you've got that then stick to it for example we use a font called abyss and we use a brush and we use yellow and black for our videos 
So all our videos have yellow, black and white and you can see instantly when you see our thumbnail, you'll know for a fact that that video is on the Winners House channel. Number four, this is now when it comes to uploading your video as well. Guys, I cannot emphasize this enough, but in essence, YouTube is such a search engine for videos. So when you are uploading your video, it's very important that you take note of your title, take note of your tag, take note of your description. Tags are things that people are going to literally type in the search bar for be it YouTube, be it Google, wherever they're searching for you. Now the tags on YouTube are the same tag that they use for Google search engine optimization. So if you're going to put in your tag, the Gwenya's house, comma, when people search the Gwenya's house, the video where you put that tag is going to be on there. It doesn't mean because you put that tag, it's going to be the first video that shows up. Make sure that you put tag. Put, for example, we definitely have the Nguenya's house in our tags. We have the Nguenya's, we have um, the Nguenya's house um, on the couch, all of those things. So think about things that your subscribers, the housemates in our, in our, in our, in our case, think about the things that when your subscribers think about you, what are they going to use to search? So use those keywords and put them in your tag because that's what's going to take people to your videos. Also look at your competitors or people who are doing the same videos, the same type of content as you or people you've collaborated with before. You have about 500 characters in your tag. So you can also put, you can also put like their names. Don't, don't make it like the whole thing. Focus on your specific tags and the tags that have to do with that video. Then maybe two or three tags, just put like the people who make the same content as you or the people who are most, who your subscribers are most likely to be watching or people you'd like to subscribe to your channel. Those type of people who those, your subscribers are most likely to be watching. Put that in your tags as well so that like when people search for them sometimes your videos will be suggested there as well. and the last thing in this point is linking other videos to the videos that people are watching so all you have to do is in the description just write we write if you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this video um you might also enjoy this check it out on this link and put the link in the description because that helps people read the description if they're enjoying a video they're most likely to click that and stay on your channel that's the biggest thing that you want from your videos you don't want people watching your videos and then jumping off to some other youtuber you want people to stay and binge your channel now one last thing i didn't write here this is still part of this please guys end screens are important i just touch on it at the end of the video make sure you add end screens because with end screens you can put with end screens you can put up to three or four videos i think and the link for people to subscribe to your channel at the end of your video put end screens because they can link they can link they can keep keep people on your channel if someone's not subscribed and they watch to the end of your video they click that and automatically they become a subscriber of to your channel number five should I, I should actually put this before i started talking about videos editing software I'm not a pro, I don't know, I don't know a lot of editing software, but I'm going to talk about the editing software that I know about. Um, we use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro, I know, is not free, but for me, it's the best editing software that you can use for YouTube or for any editing of any sort, actually, because Premiere Pro, once you know it, once you've taken at least a week or two weeks or three weeks just playing around with it it becomes so easy to use it is unlimited in what you can do but because this is a video for people who are starting out um i know people who use um other software such as filmora is it filmora or filmora i'm not sure it's free and it has a lot of free stuff that you can use on it as well so you can get filmora filmora or filmora pro that's the editing software I would suggest to use when you're starting. The two options that I would do if you're a beginner, use Filmora. But if you are interested in taking time to learn how to edit, use Premiere Pro. Now, just in closing, guys, I'd like to encourage you. If you have cool content that you've been thinking about and you've been struggling with how am I even going to start my YouTube channel, what am I going to do? Guys, get your phone and shoot. Read. Just take the tips I've used. Make sure your quality is good. Take your phone and shoot. And the nice thing about YouTube is that you get onto YouTube and people love you for who you are. It's not like a production or a show or a series where you have to act like you're something else. You are you and people love you for who you are. 
and it's not and on youtube it's not like for celebrities it's for anyone you could be walking on the street and shooting a video and talking shit and it's cool and people like it and bam you're a youtuber and you've got your own content that's really really cool the power of youtube is that it's free for everybody to use and everyone can collaborate with anyone do not be discouraged just get a phone record edit and post i really hope that this video helped you guys be able to start a youtube channel but if you'd like more tips on youtube we're not professionals we just share the things that we know and the things that i've read on and i've seen have been working for us please in the comment section just hit me up and say yes we'd like more or if you have any questions about starting a youtube channel or anything like that hit us up in the comment section send me an email here's the email over there and also hit us on dm on instagram if there are any tips i'll definitely make another video about it's um, about ranking and how you can get your videos to be ranked higher and things like that but beyond that if you'd like anything more like this please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for tuning in Asmi. don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell hit the all options and help us grow if this helped you please share with someone else it may help anyone that might be interested in starting a youtube or any other youtuber that may need to know the information that i've just put out here please share with everybody enjoy housemates bye guess what we've got more content for you so pick a box my baby as a pick a box bottom left or middle center to check more of our content and don't forget to click down here on the bottom right to subscribe to our channel and become a housemate